Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca and welcome to another video. In today's video I am going to do a tag and this tag, wow this intro is going to be very long drawn out, but anyway, this tag is the Villains vs Villains tag which I was tagged in by the lovely Fiona over at Northeast Nerd, whose channel and possibly Twitter I will leave down below if I remember. Basically the idea of this is you have a pot and in this pot you have villains. I have my villains but I have a couple of sneaky little good guys in there as well um so yeah in this pot there are a bunch of villains and a couple of good guys and we basically draw two out and see who will win if they had a fight now this isn't going to be the conventional you can only pick books this isn't the conventional you can only pick books kind of video this is books videos tv music film I don't know why I said videos because we're not in the 90s anymore. Any bad guy you can think of, they can go in the pot. So let's just go. The first two I have are Maleficent or Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty and The Miniaturist from The Miniaturist by Jessie Burton. I included The Miniaturist in here because, can I just warn you guys, this video will contain spoilers. Anyway, The Miniaturist is in here because in the book, the miniaturist, obviously, they somehow they are able to make little miniature characters of people in their village and know loads of things about their lives before they happen. And yeah, I think that is a very evil, can evil kind of thing. We have the miniaturist and we have Maleficent. Now, Maleficent has the the staff. She has that staff. But then again, in Maleficent, the actual film Maleficent with Angelina Jolie, we see a softer side and we, whilst we see a softer side of her, we know she's got that dark side, whereas the miniaturist we never really truly get to meet, we just see flashes of their blonde hair. We never truly get to meet the miniaturist, but we also get to see the good side of Maleficent. In this fight, I think, to be honest, overall, the miniaturist would probably win because she could be able to tell the future almost of what's going to happen so she could ultimately be like oh well the, Ma the Maleficent is a bad guy I'll just sort of make her limbs fall off or something or make make a caricature, caricature of her drinking poison or something like that so in this one I think the miniaturist wins so we're going to put that in a pile see you later Maleficent bye now the yellow ones are the bad guys and the orange ones are the good guys but as you can see I'm not actually looking so I have one and then I have two. Oh, they're both yellow that's handy so the first one we have is Scarlet Overkill from the Minions films <laughs> and then we also have oh Voldemort from Harry Potter it's a bit of a no-brainer really <laughs> He has magic, she has yellow people. Magic, yellow people, magic, yellow people. Magic wins. Sorry, Scarlet. Bye. Next one. One. Two. Oh, they're both yellow again. So, we have... Oh, President Snow from The Hunger Games versus... Oh, Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter. Hmm, this is a bit of a toughie. Because Draco... Draco has good intentions, kind of, at heart. He tries to do what everyone else wants him to do. It's never what he wants to do. Whereas President Snow is full of himself and wants to kill everyone that thinks he's a bad guy. So he wants to kill pretty much the whole world. Um, this would be pretty interesting, this one. I'm gonna go with Draco Malfoy mainly because of magic again he has the ability to about a cadaver his ass and President Snow is not a nice man not at all and we know his outcome but to be honest Draco Malfoy probably would win because he has years on President Snow age-wise he's so much younger and so much more able to fight even if it was like hand-to-hand -hand combat Whereas President Snow would just get his little cronies from the capital 
to throw everything they had at Draco Malfoy and it would turn into a Katniss Everdeen thing again and we all know how that went. So see you later President Snow, Draco can go in the winner's circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the yellow ones out so we've got the last two yellow ones the rest in there are orange and i'm going to do a separate video for them ones so the last two i did these last week so i can't actually remember who's in them so this one is jafar from aladdin and oh actually i do know who this one is cruella de vil from 101 dalmatians cruella de vil likes to kill dogs jafar wants to marry Jasmine and be king just because of his more power hungriness I'm gonna go with Jafar winning this one because whilst Cruella de Vil which is basically a cruel devil which I only figured out when I was write writing this out actually she's basically a cruel devil bit of uh, Disney inside information for you there because she just wants to kill dogs really oh, and wants to make fur coats out of them and I'm not a really heavy animal rights activist in the sense of Cruella de Vil is fictional character should not be murdering dogs blah 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 I'm gonna go with Jafar because <sighs> she ends up in a cake for god's sake in the film in the actual human motion picture she ends up in a cake Jafar Jafar gets continually booed and hissed at in pantomimes forever and ever and ever yeah Jafar wins this, wins this one bye Cruella so there we have it the losers have disappeared off camera they're in a hoof on my bed they're probably going to come and all kill me through the night but my winning team of villains are the miniaturist Draco Malfoy Voldemort and Jafar so that's it for today's video I'm not going to tag anyone although this was actually really fun when I got a chance to film it so yeah if you want to film it the rules are simple just put all the villains you know into a pot pick two out at a time and see who wins so basically yeah that's it and I've said basically quite a bit so yeah if you want to fill it if you want to do it i've just told you how you can do it because i'm not tagging anyone but i am going to do a heroes versus heroes tag instead which is with all the little orange bits that were left in my pot so yeah see you all soon with another video bye guys